Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadon, to Born Bob Build for Theme Park News and welcome to the next five years video. This is the series where we predict the next five years at a theme park. We're going to be doing a whole lot of these uh, over the next few weeks. We're pre-recording a whole lot of these. Uh, so if you want to suggest one, then I would uh, get your suggestions in the comments down below. If you've already suggested one, whether it's a Six Flags Park, a Cedar Fair Park that I haven't done yet, or any park, I would suggest getting those suggestions. Even if you've already suggested it before, I would get it down again so I can save them on my brand new phone. Because if you didn't know, wait, well, hey, brand new phone. Um, and that's where all my notes are. So, um, you know, the, the notes from my old phone didn't copy across to my new one. Uh, so I would send you suggestions in again in the comments down below so I can save them again on my brand new phone. Uh, but this one is from Canada's Wonderland. So a massive shout out to Cedar Magic 23 uh, for suggesting this one. And of course, uh, I know some other people might have suggested this one as well. Um, so it's a big shout out to you guys as well. If you want to suggest one, then please comment down below and uh, I will save it, of course. And uh, in this video, like usual, we're going to take a look at the last decade of Canada's Wonderland's history and also take a look at my predictions for the next five years. So, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and also half a million views. So let's keep those old video views, nostalgia views coming in, guys. And uh, let's get closer and closer to half a million views by the end of the year because I want to release a milestone video by the end of the, before the end of the year to say we've hit half a million views, which would be brilliant. And uh, for now, guys, let's talk about the last 10 years to start off with for Canada's Wonderland. So starting off in 2010 with the introduction of Planet Snoopy, this was like a, a refurbishment of the Nickelodeon area that also used to be the land of Hanna-Barbera and um, they brought in like three new Zamperla rides for this whole kids re-theme, which was very much a kids year in 2010. In 2011, they brought in the Wind Seeker, which is a Mondial model, and also the Starlight Spectacular show. Uh, however, this was a build-up to 2012, when along with Dinosaurs Alive, the return of Starlight Spectacular, Dinosaurs Giants of Pentagonia 3D in the Action Theatre, and the introduction of Fastlane uh, for tickets, they also brought in a brand new Bulger and Mabiard Hyper uh, called Leviathan. Uh, now, Leviathan is a scary ride. I'm not going to lie. I think the people that are not used to coasters will not like Leviathan at first. Uh, this is Bulgur and Mabiod. This is a hyper coaster with a length of 5,486 feet, a height of 100, uh, 306 feet, a drop of 306 feet, a speed of 92 miles per hour, a vertical angle of 80 degrees during a duration of 3 minutes and 28 and costs 28 US dollars. Uh, 28 million US dollars, which is a lot of money. Uh, now, in 2013, they brought in Monsters of the Deep 3D in the Action Theatre. And for 2014, they brought in Wonder Mountain's Guardian, which is a combination of Dark Ride Coaster from ART Engineering and Triotech. In 2015, they brought in Typhoon and Splash Station and the VIP Cabanas into Splash Works Water Park, as well as the Slingshot, which is a pay per use slingshot ride by Funtime. In 2016, they brought in Skyhawk, a girl's last sky roller, Flying Eagles, which is a Larson international attraction, Robinson Crusoe 3D, featured in the Action Theatre, uh, Stars of the Packing Acrobats, showed at the Wonderland Theatre, and they also added virtual reality on the Mac Power Coaster Thunder Run. In 2017, they brought in Soaring Timbers, a Mondale Inferno attraction, Muskoka Plunge in the Splashworks Water Park, the R Canada Show in the Action Theatre, and Cirque Canadian on the Canterbury Theatre stage. In 2018, the Flying Canoes, which is a Preston and Barbaria attraction, and also Lumberjack, a Zamperla Hawk ride, was introduced, as well as Lakeside Lagoon to the Splashworks Water Park. And again, this is a build up to the 2019 edition. Again, this is a massive year for Canada's Wonderland because they brought in their Bulger and Mabillard dive coaster, Yukon Striker, into the Frontier Canada section of the park. Now, of course, as well as that, in 2019, they brought in Frontier Canada itself, the Winterfest, and Peanuts Putt-Putt was removed 
for what is now the 2021 edition. Now, talking about Yukon Striker, the main edition in 2019, this has a length of 3,625 feet, a height of 223 feet, a drop of 245 feet, a speed of 80.8 miles per hour with four inversions and a duration of three minutes and 25 with a capacity of 1,310 riders per hour. And in 2020, we were due to have two new attractions, Beagle Brigade Airfield, which is a Zamperla attraction for the um, Planet Snoopy area, and of course Mountain Bay Cliffs, a cliff jumping attraction in the Splashworks Water Park, but of course due to COVID-19, the park was not open for the 2020 season, and it's very likely that that has been delayed until 2021. So there we go, that is look at the last 10 years of Canada's Wonderland. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, I think that's a decent 10 years for Canada's Wonderland. Loads of a mixed range of additions for all age groups and all interests. You know, water park additions, family rides, thrill rides, uh, roller coasters, um, children's investments. You know, there's a good mixture and a mixed bag of attractions and experiences and activities for all ages. And that's a good thing for Canada's Wonderland. And Canada's Wonderland for the Cedar Fair chain has always been known as like the tester park, I guess. So it's like you want to bring in a brand new concept, but you want to test it at a brand new park. Fiesta Texas is kind of like Six Flags tester park when they want to bring in a brand new concept. They'll test it there first, you know. Um, you know, even though the RMCs weren't new by then, you know, they did test the ones with the inversions on Iron Rattler. And then that sort of inspired the likes of other ones like Twisted Cyclone and, um, you know, Twisted Colossus and Wicked Cyclone, Twisted Cyclone over Georgia. You know, a lot of these additions with the inversions on an RMC sort of came off from the first one with the inversion, which the Iron Rattler. And, uh, you know, the Daredevil Die Flying Machines, you know, that'll hopefully be, and hopefully the sound is moving more super air races going to other Six Flags parks. Canada's Wonderland for Cedar Fair was a tester park. It was like the park to test things. Uh, you know, the Sky Roller from Gerstow, and that came into the park in 2016. Um, the B&M Dive was a nice addition for the park. You know, Canada's Wonderland's always been a growing, revolutionising park. And I don't think that's going to change, even if this pandemic stalls off of capital investment. Cedar Fair have already put in place plans for major new attractions in future years. They're still doing the long-term future plans for Cedar Point. Uh, for Cedar Fair, sorry, as a general brand. And Canada's Wonderland, in my opinion, will be at the top of that list, in my opinion. So, you know, this park's definitely got a bright, bright future. And it's going to get even brighter in the next few years. So, now we've had a look at the past 10 years. We need to take a look at the next five years for this theme park. And that all starts with what's very likely to be two new attractions delayed from 2020 opening in 2021. So, of course, 2021 will be the year that they'll debut their 2020 attractions. Beagle Brigade Airfield, which is the Zampella attraction located in Planet Snoopy, and also the Mountain Bay Cliffs in the Splashworks Water Park. Uh, so, nothing new there. Simple 2021 investments, like most parks nowadays. And, um, you know, it's great to see them still pushing ahead with planning to open these next year um, and open them at all. You know, it's nice to see them open their new attractions at all it's nice to see them not get cancelled entirely so uh, and it's a great children's attraction and a great experience for the water park as well in 2022 i'm predicting a brand new family or thrill ride now of course with the removal of orbit their uh, enterprise attraction they do not have some kind of that type of attraction now i think either a zampella endeavor or a brand new version of an enterprise would be a perfect fit for this area and you know what they could even go one step further and go for it again like the said canada's wonderland is like the tester park i'd like to see him go for one of those torbalon attractions you know like cyborg cyberspin at six flags great adventure I'd like to see one of them being added to the park. Now, people may disagree with that. That's fair enough. But I think that's a good concept for Cedar Fair Parks to test out. And again, Canada's Wonderland is the experimental park. So, I think that it'd be inevitable to put one of those concepts there. If not, I think the Zampola and Devil would be a great fit for that park. Uh, especially in the area where it is as well. 2023. Now, 2023, I think, is the year they're going to add their next major roller coaster. And I've highlights the site of riptide their old top spin and also dragonfire which is their uh looping coaster 
uh, their classic looper. Now, I've also highlighted the go-karts track just near where Leviathan is and Leviathan Station, or just out, out opposite Leviathan Station. Um, and I've highlighted that area where the Arrow Custom Looper Dragonfire is and, you know, where the go-kart is and Riptide once stood. Um, I've highlighted that area for a coaster. Now, you've got to look at the current lineup to see what kind of coaster you could be looking at. So, they've got Batlot Bat Stunt Coaster, which is a premier uh, multi-launch coaster. Uh, they've got the Bat, which is the Vacoma Boomerang, or just Bat. Uh, Behem Behemoth, or Behemoth. Uh, which is a Bulgarian Mabiard Hyper. Of course, they're removing their Aero Custom Looper if we're sticking to the plan. Flight Deck, which is the Vacoma SLC. Uh, they've got Fly, which is their Mac Wild Mouse. Ghost Coaster, which is their wooden uh, family coaster. Leviathan, another B&M Hyper. Uh, but it operates like a Giga, in my opinion. It's a Hyper, but it operates like a Giga, in my opinion. Uh, they've got Mighty Canadian Mindbuster. Again, I'm going to speak about that in a bit, but that's a wooden coaster. Silver Street, their Suspender Family Coaster. Taxi Jam, their Ian F. Miller Family Coaster. Their Mac Blower Enzian Version 2 Thunder Run, their Power Coaster. Time Warp, which is their Zampella Volley. Uh, Vortex, which is their Arrow Suspender Coaster. Wildebeest, which is another wooden coaster. Uh, Wonder Mountains Guardian, which is their Triotech ART Engineering Dark Ride Coaster. And of course, Yukon Striker, which is their Bulgar and Mabiard Dive Coaster. So looking at that lineup, one thing I think they're missing is a launched wing coaster. Now, obviously when you look at the lineup, they do not have a wing coaster. It's been rumoured for a new number of years that the park could get one. Loads of people have been crying out for a wing coaster at this park. And um, I think that that would be a great addition to the park. I think that that kind of coaster would be fantastic for the park. And it would be a great sort of, you know... Um, you know, new addition to the lineup, shall we say? Um, but one thing I've always thought this park is missing is a launch coaster by itself. They do not have a launch coaster, so I would like to see maybe a launched wing coaster by B&M, or maybe they could go along the Mac uh, multi-launch coaster route, like Copperhead Strike at Carowinds. Um, I think something like that would be good at this park. I think theme it nice and well, and I think they've got themselves a decent coaster here. Especially when you put it in an area where Dragonfire once stood, well, would have once stood, and it's near Leviathan as well. If you took out the go-karts, Riptide, and Dragonfire, you could easily do a nice multi-launch coaster interweaving underneath and over parts of Leviathan. And there's a bit of area that I haven't circled um, which is near the tunnel element of Leviathan. You could easily do a couple of little bits there and there. I think there's some fantastic space there to work with, and I think that you could easily do something magical with that site in a Mac multi-launch coaster route. So I think that that is inevitably what I would add on that site. Either a launched wing coaster, or I would go on the Mac multi-launch coaster route. In 2024, I want to com I've predicted to combine Kidsville and Planet Snoopy to become Camp Snoopy. It's one of the last sort of few Planet Snoopies. Uh, that should become, uh, should become Camp Snoopies. Brand new attractions, brand new family rides in the area. Um, Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. Maybe gets re-themed into something different and more related to Camp Snoopy. Maybe get a nice campfire story going around it. And uh, like Snoopy's Great Adventures to Find Bigfoot kind of storyline maybe. Uh, I don't know. But I think the refurbishment of Kidsville and Planet Snoopy into Camp Snoopy would be a great way to combine the two kids areas and make it one giant kids area which would be fantastic for the family market and finally for 2025 or i should say sort of halfway through 2024 and then opening in 2025 i'm going to see the mighty canadian mind buster out done finito chopped out by the judge jury and executioner and replaced with a brand new water park expansion so this is a big one a big prediction because i would like to see them add some brand new slide complexes so one uh at one end of my canadian mind buster uh, and one at the other end of my canadian mind buster um and you've got the obviously you've got the two slides that are sticking out that sort of uh block off both ends of the site kind of thing uh but i'd like to see Canadian Mindbuster, Mike Canadian Mindbuster removed for two new water slide complexes. And that, and not just that, 
but it would begin a whole sort of revitalization of splash work so it, so it won't be called splash works by 2025 i think this should go with something like maple leaf shores or maple leaf bay or something like that just a complete refurbishment of the water park with two brand new complexes in the mighty canadian mine buster site and I think that an overall refurbishment of the water park, maybe some new names for some current water slides, some refurbishments here and there on any restaurants or, or just anything inside the, the water park. Any The Lazy River, of course, maybe gets refurbished as well. Just little things here and there, as well as the two waterside complexes, I think would be a fantastic... Or it could just be one long waterside complex. You could replace the whole Mighty Canadian Mine Buster and bring in something like, and I don't like to reference Six Flags in a Cedar Fair video, but something like Tsunami Surge, aka Python's Plunger, another water park. Something like a launched water coaster. Something like that. And I think that would be a pretty cool addition, and it would be only the beginning of a major refurbishment of the water park. And like I said, the name could literally be anything. It could be uh, Maple Leaf Shores, Maple Leaf Bay, just something like what they did with California's Great America and the South Bay Shores. Something like that, a full refurbishment of the water park would be a fantastic way to give new life to that park. So there we go. That is my next five year predictions for Canada's Wonderland. So you can see in there, uh, a massive water park addition along with the water park refurbishment a brand new roller coaster brand new flat ride brand new kids rides um it's it's all in there it's all in there so um again a mixed bag of additions i'm sticking with that pattern of a mixed bag of additions where there's kids rides family rides thrill rides coasters and you know water park additions so you know like i said in there you know obviously 2021 will be the delayed 2020 editions but like i said in those predictions 2022 a uh, new family or thrill ride 2023 a new coaster 2024 uh combining the two kids areas into one massive new camp snoopy and 2025 a brand new water park refurbishment into a brand newly refreshed water park with a brand new side complex or two where the mine buster stands now and you're probably thinking why is the mine buster getting removed at the um halfway through 2024 why don't you put that prediction further forward and to be perfectly honest i think it's going to take a couple of years to sort of plan exactly what you want to do and i think i think if you take the time with it i think that whole water park refurbishment would be great and also you've got to think between now and when they if they do the water park edition in 2025 where the mine buster is um, you got to think in between now and then you've got possibly a family thrill ride possibly a, a refurbished kids area which is combining two kids areas together to make one camp snoopy and a brand new roller coaster maybe even a map double launch where dragonfire riptide and the go-karts is interweaving Le with Le Le leviathan i mean you couldn't ask for more than that between now and a mind buster replacement for a water park refurbishment and addition so I think that again it's all that pattern of a mixed bag of additions for all ages and all interests so uh again i love my i love doing these predictions i love doing it so again thank you very much to cedar magic 23 for suggesting this video and for now thank you very very much for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe click the case bell so you never miss another video and for now my name is coast chow coop living the coast life and i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day